In this video, I will show you how to modify and fix your smart extruder for the MakerBot Replicator 5th Gen. Here we have the smart extruder with the pins facing up. This is face down. There are four pins. Pry them lightly without breaking them. Once you finish prying them, it should just slip out. Now you can slide the filament guide tube out. It should slip out very easy. Same way, work around the whole extruder. Prying pin by pin until it just comes apart slowly without breaking the pins. Make a mental note. Take pictures if you have to. First, remove the bearing. Remove the filament sensor guide. Pulling it upward, you'll see four little pins. You can start by removing where the spring is, those two little clips. Just pry it up, it should come out just like this. Be careful with the spring, you don't want to lose that. As you can see, it's separated. Put the spring away, put everything away. There are two set screws. You need an Allen key to remove the set screws that hold the heater, coil, and the temperature sensor. As you can see, after you loosen them up, it will just slide right off. Now from the hot end, you have to remove the shield, that aluminum piece that's close to the, to the tip, like so, you just got to pry it apart. Okay, this is very important. You need to have 31.87 millimeters from the back to just where the tip connects. You'll see as you, exactly how I show you. You can start unassembling like so. It's not that hard. This is the original steel nozzle throat tube. Here is the one I purchased on eBay. Quite a bit longer. 40.19 millimeters. Here is the original heat sink. You have to drill it out. like so on the left you'll see all the way through find a drill bit that fits snug without damaging the threads make sure it slides all the way into the back side now you need a six millimeter tap when you do buy it make sure it goes in nice and smooth then tap all the way through till you get to the side where you drilled so it's a continuous thread take apart the rest of the heater block now you can screw the tip on leave about a half a millimeter gap now screw in the longer throat tube you want the throat tube to be pressed tightly up against the brass tip. Mark the throat tube like so because you're going to have to mill down a gap. As you can see I have it in my milling machine. It should look like that. You could use a file, moto tool, any means just to get that shape. So it dissipates the heat. It's 3.97 millimeters. Reassemble throat tube heat sink for measurements. This is the measurement you want to come up with. Mark. Then mill down. 
your steel nozzle throat tube should now look like this. This is the original with the plastic bed leveling piece. Now carefully drill out the plastic guide piece to fit over the throat tube. As you can see from this picture, the original is on the right, the new one is on the left. It should fit nice, not too tight. You should be good. Now you can start the reassembly process. Put back the stainless steel bracket, then remeasure. Very important. Reassemble, tighten set screws to the heater coil and the temperature sensor like before. If you start to reassemble and look just like this, the original way you left it. You should be good. Here she goes. Loading the filament. This will be the first print in about a year. Have not had any luck since I got this thing. So far so good. Filament is coming through. And it's starting to print. Hooray! Okay, finally, after almost a year, I finally decided to try to mod the uh, head. Endless, endless, endless filament jam. Non-stop, what a pain in the ass. Finally, I'm getting good results with the new mod. Was not easy. So far so good, still going strong. This is my first print after a year. I'm not even using MakerBot filament. It's some generic filament. As you can see, it's still printing. It's printing the sample from the MakerBot. A screw and a nut, let's see how it comes out. Still going strong. I cannot believe it. I thought this thing was going to be stripped for parts. Still going strong. Honestly, I cannot believe it. This thing would not print with any other filament other than the MakerBot filament. 91%. Okay, it's almost at the end of the print. I still cannot believe it. Well, there you go, folks. Well, I can honestly say it worked beautiful. The only flaw was the raft gets stuck to it. It's really hard to take off, but that's okay. That's a minor flaw. Everything else, as you can see, very good tolerances. I'm still in shock. I'm going to start my new print again, another one. On to the second test print. I'm going to print the chain link.
Pin number two, the chain link. Unbelievable. It is really working. I hope you guys have as much success as I did. Almost finished, another successful print. I guess the mod did work. And worked very well. Okay, now for the true test. I did some 3D bed leveling. Wow, look at this. That is unbelievable.